One morning, Gordon was resting in the siding. Almost time, he said. Almost time for another busy day pulling the express, keeping up appearances, and being right on time. His rest was interrupted. <coughs> Percy pulled up beside him. Gordon, what are you doing here? Henry had to take the express. You were nowhere to be seen. Oh, bother, said Gordon. How did I manage to do that? Now the fat controller's gonna be cross with me. And the penry of all engines to take the express. Got you, Gordon, said Percy. And before Gordon could answer, Percy raced away. Gordon was cross. Typical branch line engines. Nothing better to do than play senseless practical jokes. Then he coupled on to his coaches. Hello, Gordon, said Toby. Getting ready to pull the express, I see. Yes, I am. Oh, and Toby, I want to ask you something. Do you branch line engines do any work at all, or do you just run about playing jokes on big engines all day long? said Gordon crossly. What are you talking about, Gordon? We work very hard on the branch line. With the junction getting mended lately, we can only use the one platform, which is a nuisance if you're going to a faraway station. So don't think, Gordon, we mess about on the branch line all day. Well, it wasn't me that wrecked your junction. It was that bear. And for doing that, not he gets rewarded with pulling my express. Now, I must go, Toby. And Gordon puffed away. All was going well, but there was trouble up the line. Diesel had brought some workmen to mend the bump on Gordon's track. Just then, Spencer pulled up beside him. A message from the fat controller. Gordon will be coming up this track, so you must tell him to take the points and go up that single track, said Spencer. What about the track you're on, Spencer? That takes him up the same way, and it's just a matter of changing points after he passes me, said Diesel. Yes, but the fat controller said Gordon must take that track. Apparently it's a shortcut. And Spencer raced away. The signal was down, and Gordon had to stop. Oh, bother, said Gordon. What is going on? The express is gonna be late. Workmen are mending that horrible bump in your track, so the fat controller said you must take that signal track. Apparently, it's a shortcut to the junction, and then on to Walesworth on your journey. Hmm, said Gordon. A shortcut. Yes, Gordon, a shortcut, said Diesel. If I take this shortcut, I could break my own record by arriving early and not tell anyone. So the fireman changed the points, and Gordon went up the single track. Good luck, Gordon, said Diesel. Then Diesel went to do some more work. Gordon didn't know where he was. Where am I? I saw that windmill before, but where? Driver, this track doesn't feel very strong either. Then he went over a small viaduct. Where on Soto am I? He soon found out. What the? The Farqua? Oh no! I'm on Thomas's branch line! His driver shut off steam and applied the brakes. Thomas was very surprised to see Gordon on his branch line. Am I seeing things, driver? The passengers were surprised too. We're not supposed to be at Fafarqua. We should be at Walesworth, they said. And so was the station master. Why is there a big engine on the branch line? 
I must phone the fat controller. Soon, the fat controller arrived. Gordon, what are you doing here? You know that a big engine should not go on a branch line. The rails are not strong enough. And the express is gonna be late as well. <laughs> Sorry, sir, said Gordon. He was very embarrassed. But Diesel told me to go down this way. He said that you told him to say that. I said no such thing. I said that you must go down the other mainline track, said the fat controller. I don't know. You may just slowly go on down the branch line and cut off at the junction. Although, you won't know which way to go. One of the sides of the junction's getting repaired. You might have to take the faraway track, said the fat controller. But sir, said Thomas, the garter bridges up the line, and that would never take Gordon's wit. A very good point, Thomas. Gordon, you may just slowly go back the way you came, and then take the points onto the other mainline track. The express is already late. So, Gordon, what do you think of my branch line? said Thomas. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, and if you see Toby, I was very rude to him earlier. Tell him I apologize. And then slowly, Gordon reversed back up the branch line. The fat controller was on Gordon as well. At last Gordon was back on the main line. And he pulled into Wellsworth station. And the fat controller spoke severely to Diesel. Why did you tell Gordon to take that single track? But Spencer told me earlier on that you said he had to take that single track instead of the other mainline track. I said no such thing, said Spencer sneakily. I said that Gordon had to take the other mainline track. Diesel! I have had enough of you. You constantly play jokes on the other engines, and therefore, you're going to be locked in the sheds for two weeks. And poor Diesel left. And then Spencer coupled on the Diesel's train. And he rolled beside Gordon. You honestly didn't think that I would have told Diesel to send you up the signal track instead of the other mainland track, did you? Oh no, Spencer. Anyone but you. Then Spencer raced away. Well, Gordon, what a day. Well, at least one good thing came out of it. I finally saw that branch line of Thomas's. And then Gordon continued on his journey.